Okay, everyone, welcome to part seven of our Unity in Blender uh, building a game tutorial series. And we're here in Unity, and we've already built all of our textures and saved them here into our texture files. So now what we need to do is build the materials for our different objects. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and build a material. So under the Create menu in the project, we just click New Material. And we'll give this a name. This will be our Walls. And I'm going to name it outside since we're doing the inside differently. And we're going to put the walls and make sure we put it in the materials. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this. If you actually click where you want it to go and create the material like this, it'll actually put it right on the inside. And this will be our floor. And for me, you can be as specific as you want on your names. What I'm using is by putting everything inside of a folder of the building, I can match all of this stuff together. And then also over the hierarchy, by using the walls as the outside, we can take our floor here and drop it into here. And then when we move the walls, our floor would move with it. And come on, undo. Uh, now we got to go move our walls back to zero, zero. Make sure our floor is still there at zero, zero. All right. And then we can go ahead and do the exact same thing with the stairs and drop them in so everything works as one. All right. So back to our materials. We'll take the wall outside. And if you look at your, <coughs> excuse me, the shaders, you have all these different shaders to choose from. Now we're going to be using the normal one of Bump Specular, so we can take use of the specular map and of the normal maps that we created. But there's all kinds of self-illuminating, transparent, um, all this different stuff. There's also, if you go to, I believe it's File, is it under Window? I'm trying to remember where this is. Snap Settings, Assets, sorry. There is the window for here it is the in window under the asset store and something I encourage you to look at because even though we're trying to do this as cheap and as uh, easy as possible let's see if this is gonna come up for me <laughs> um, there is a hard surface shader that has some halfway decent documentation and there is a free version that really gives you some more um, options for the uh, for some of your shaders so if we search hard surface I can learn how to spell there is this one right here the hard surface shader free and I encourage you to take a look at that and I honestly don't know how much the uh, <coughs> upper versions are but again it gives you a whole bunch of shaders to work with that I'm playing with uh, for some other parts later on and uh, they seem to be well worth it all right sorry another tangent off of there so what we want to do is grab our walls diffuse which uh, whoops go back to our wall grab and drag the diffuse and drop it in and down here at the bottom you will see what it looks like now the reason you have this black part is because if we look at it the walls didn't extend to the end and we didn't actually um, make our wall texture go all the way to the edge that's where that black texture why oh that's why because I tried to look at the texture okay so now that we have that part in there and we'll go ahead and grab our normal and drop it in the normal and it's going to tell you that it's not known that it's a normal map let's go ahead and fix now and it will fix that and we now can start to see how our map will look with the normal map on it so now what we're, we're going to do is go over and pick our walls take our shader and just drop it over here into the walls and our shader should work and why aren't we is this not sure why it's not working at the moment did this before in my other one let's go ahead and go into the game mode and see if it's might have to do with uh, 
doing something wrong there. Okay. Wall space. That's showing on either side. All right, let me pause and see what's going on here. Okay, I'm back. And the problem was when we had changed some of the UVs layouts uh, in the last movie for the walls, uh, we hadn't re I hadn't re-imported the um, mesh. So re-importing the mesh fixed the fixed the problem. And now you can see what we get when you drop this in there. Same thing. Uh, I didn't change anything but re-import the walls and make sure they re-imported correctly so we get this nice now you can notice it's really dark and the reason for that is if we go look at where our sun is placed it is in uh, the rotation of the sun is all that really matters and we have it rotating down there so if i move the rotation we can get more light into the spots that we want the rotate the the um like we probably want the front depending on how we put the uh, background and sun in and there you have your texture on there and how it looks and puts out now it seems we have some issues that you could go back and clean up on the front one there uh, and I think if we go over and click on there which basically gives us all around lighting the three of them are good, but the front seems to be a little bit off. So that's something you may want to go back and fix. And um, as I'm building, just so you know, as I'm building the tutorial, I'm actually building uh, everything twice. I have uh, this whole thing built uh, on another machine that I'm saving over there as the full version of it. So if some things don't match great, uh, it uh, looks like we just need to move that texture up or perhaps it's a little upside down and, and stretched in the wrong places. So um, you could go ahead and fix that, but I don't think it's something that I need to uh, waste your time looking at. Uh, it's the principles that we're looking at and getting it perfect is up to you. Uh, even you're probably building something for yourself in your own way or shape, and that's what I wanna, wanna do there. So if it's not perfect, I wanna get you the ability to get it done. So let's go ahead and select the floor. And now we're going to go over to the floor material. And again, we'll drop in the floor diffuse. And this is all it takes once they're built right. Normal. And uh, I had tested it to make sure it's there so I don't have to fix it. And now, boom, we have the floor. So now if we go ahead and turn our lighting back on, we can use the shininess. And you can see how much the specular is coming through. You can also use the specular color, which is the reflection color of the light. So you can make it lighter, darker. You could add a color to it in certain situations. might seem um, right. They use a fairly neutral gray. Um, and however you want to set that up. You can also sort of override the color. <coughs> if we go over to a blue, and it will mix with the color that you have on there so you can get some more shades that's awfully hard to see on the on the floor there so let's see if we go over to our walls and work on the color we can get more of a red that's working a whole lot uh, the yellow make it a little brighter depends on what you're getting a blue color or green color so you can kind of override it and white will leave it exactly as it is so if it comes in and like if this one's like just a little bit too um, not red enough if you want a little bit more red walls we can move down into the red spectrum and kind of pull that into the to get it um, it does work all the way you know multiplies the color so you're going to get closer to black much sooner by moving over into this area boom we're not really at black but it sure looks black from there so that's how that works put them together so you can just drop them in and go from there and see how well the bump map is working it looks quite well let's go ahead and see how it looks in the game so we'll look around find it and go move towards it 
and you can see it looks pretty much the same. So the next thing that um, I'm going to show you real quick is uh, get out of our game mode and go up here and pull down our do -do -do light mapping. And you can just dock this if you want by grabbing that and sticking it into... I actually kind of like it up here so you can see everything. So how this works is in Unity and in, in uh, UDK also it does basically the same thing. Um, instead of having to... It's, the free version doesn't have real-time shadows. So in order to get some realistic looking shadows, what you can do is you grab the things in the scenes that you want the light to affect. So we want the light itself. Uh, I'm just going to select everything here. And you do have to go in and grab the stuff. Now, I'm playing around with test script. We don't need that. So all we need is the walls, the floors. Whoops. What did I do there? Hopefully nothing. Grab the, the walls and the floor. And I don't, the collisions don't matter, but I grab them all. And over here, we want to um, bake a light map for it. And this takes a little while, but what it'll allow it to do is it creates the shadows and then permanently leaves them on there. And they're drawn in as a map, as a, the, the same that your textures are, <laughs> that the game then references and it doesn't have to try to figure out that will allow a lot more speed working in your game when you do the light maps and you can play around with that and also find some more information on it and when we get something more going here we'll probably light map it a couple of times and see how that works but that should give you a start on how to get your materials and textures into unity and you can start making your buildings and your inside walls and whatever roofs however you want to put it together and we'll go from there and and I do have a working version of the game that I'm, you know, the full version uh, up on the site. It's not much right now. Basically, you can run around the building. I just did build a tree and some, uh, uh, like a sidewalk and wall and, and uh, road in front of it. But up on MonsterArts.com, you can go ahead and see that game working at this time. So enjoy. Have a good time. Hope you're learning. Thank you. Have a great day.